Hello there, internet dwellers. Welcome back to another video. Today, we have kind of a special video. I've been sent an early link to the new Security Breach Ruin DLC trailer. Apparently, this is gameplay. Um, a member of Steel Wool got in touch with me over Discord and say, hey, do you want to do you want to watch this trailer before everyone else? I was like, hey, of course. Yes. Thank you. I don't know what it is with the FNAF community and like the whole FNAF games and FNAF movie and stuff. They seem to be super generous to me uh, with stuff like this. And I'm going to be super honest with you, Steel Wool. I didn't actually complete Security Breach. I, I think I maybe I did, but I actually just watched other people beat it because I think that I got to a part of the game where I just I just couldn't couldn't do it or I don't know, maybe I was just too lazy to do it. So with that being said, I'm not really sure about the storyline. I've got a rough understanding of the storyline of Security Breach, but I believe there was like, there was some kind of like multiple storylines going on in Security Breach that confused a lot of people, myself included. Obviously, you you have those arcade games where you play as that princess, and then you've obviously got the multiple different endings. I don't know what's canon anymore. I don't know what's happening. I remember the, the, the Five Nights at Freddy's pizzeria at the bottom of this pizza plex and Burn Trap being there with the conglomerate of animatronics, the blob, whatever the hell it was called. I'll be honest, it super confused me, and that's saying something, because Five Nights at Freddy's is already super confusing with the timeline and stuff. But this one was just an absolute brain melter. So going into this, know that I'm not really sure what's going on. I'm not sure what happened, what the canon ending is and what this is going to be about. So don't attack me, okay? But that being said, you know, I am looking forward to this. I remember talking to Scott Cawthon when I was on uh, the set for the Five Nights at Freddy's movie. And he said that he's he's got hands-on with this DLC. Story-wise, it's probably going to be really good. Uh, and I'm super looking forward to it. So without further ado, guys, let's play this so this is the final ruined gameplay trailer because you guys have probably already watched this okay i'm gonna probably gonna just stop this have a talk through of what i think's happening and then you guys can say ryan you're an absolute idiot why would you even say that just stop making videos on things you don't know okay Should we? all right let's play it through once we'll play it through once and then we'll uh, go back and have a look here the pizza flex or what's left of it i don't have time to go into how i got here but you've got to help me out. Okay. Save me, Cassie, please. It's so dark down here. Cupcake! Okay, so first thing... You know what? No, I won't pause. I won't pause. I'll just... Uh, I'll play it back through, and then I can talk about what I think is happening. What the hell was going on there? Oh, damn. Right, hang on, what was that? Oh, just like the glitching, the glitching thing when Vanny appears. Don't give up on me yet. Okay. Well, first, my, my first initial thought, July 2023. Awesome. Okay. So my first thought originally is we played as Gregory in the first game, right? And Gregory could handle his own pretty well to the point where he actually pretty much made Roxy crash her cat and just completely... Didn't she, like, die there? I, I don't know. That It's kind of brutal, in a way. Why does this man need... Or this boy, sorry, need help? I feel like he's luring this girl in. Because he, he's more than capable of... I don't know why he's stuck there. Let's just talk about that for a minute. Why is he actually stuck here? Was one of the endings him being stuck in there? I can't remember. I only remember the burnt trap ending, then the one with Vanessa, Va Vanessa being Vanny, I think. And then fr one was Freddy dying, I think. And then there was one where they're, they're eating ice cream on a hill, all of them together. I don't know. Wasn't the theory that all of those were William Afton's kids or something, or like uh, relatives of William Afton, or maybe Gregory was a robot? And Vanessa was something else. I don't know. I think Scott had a certain idea for how he wanted the ending to go. But there were multiple endings. I think because he wanted to basically step back and just let Steel Wool take control. And he would drop hints in, basically, of what he, how he wanted the story to go. And I guess uh, wires were crossed or something. And that's why it kind of came a little bit confusing. But maybe the story for this one will be a lot more straightforward. 
and hopefully they're all in synergy together. They're all like kind of, you know, connected. But let's go back. Let's have a look through this. So first things first, I'm guessing these are newspaper articles covering up the windows. This is the entrance, right? I think of the, yeah, come back soon. So this is the entrance. So this right here is Cassie. I think they said her, their name was. Guys, tell me what has happened Actually, one of the endings, actually, wasn't one of the endings Gregory went was homeless or whatever, and he was just sleeping in an alley. And then someone came, and maybe they picked him. Maybe that was the canon ending. But why is he stuck here? That's the that's the one thing. Number two, what? how quickly did this happen? Because Gregory is still a child, from the sounds of things. So this must have happened pretty quick, unless Gregory is actually a robot, which... I don't know if what, what how much truth of that is, but. Cassie, I hope you get this message. Okay. I'm trapped. So Here I want to know the, the relationship between Cassie and Gregory. What's left of it? I... But what's left of it? So what happened? Was there a fight? Oh, actually, wasn't there um, with the burn trap ending? What didn't the place like collapse or something? Don't have time so maybe to... there's all there's truth in all of the endings. How I got here. Okay, there's Monty. It looks like they're in some kind of doomscape here. You've got to help me out. Okay. So this is the, the daycare, I'm guessing. Save me, Cassie, please. This looks like the underground. This is Bonnie. I think this is like Bonnie's kind of area. It's so Closed forever. So dark down here. So hang on, there's there's graffiti all over the place. There's news articles. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a wild guess and say that the public know the truth now about the pizza plex or the the whole because obviously there was a massive history with uh you know the Five Nights at well Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria, which really confused me when they opened a pizza plex dedicated to the very thing that supposedly killed well that you know Freddy didn't kill these things this the person who created him was killing these kids. I I don't understand. Uh, the thought process behind that. So that's Roxy, right? No, that's Chi No, that's Chica. So what the hell happened to her? I remember actually her face was messed up when you uh, do her mission. But it looks like she's got a new kind of face. She's got like a gas mask on her face. Okay, I'm not sure what that is. Oh, right, well, hang on a sec. Those things scared the absolute crap out of me. I gotta say, if one like one thing that I enjoyed when I played Security Breach was anything to do with weeping angels scares the absolute crap out of me. The fact that they only move when you're not looking at them is terrifying, and it, it just I have that kind of fear of something chasing you when you see something from a distance chasing you and getting slowly quicker to, towards you, and you can't really do much about it. That's terrifying. Wow, she's had too much drinks. Okay. Gregory, so we're not seeing Gregory. I wonder what's happened to Gregory. Does she? Is he like where Burn Trap used to be? And go, look, can we go back to what that, whatever the hell that that thing is? What the hell is that? It's like a little freaking foxy. It's, it looks like a foxy. Oh, is it like like a mini Monty or an actual Monty? Because where they just dropped in there, that's Monty's Golf, right? I didn't actually complete Monty's Golf on my playthrough. I just watched other people do it. That's definitely Monty. Damn. Okay, and there's the, uh, the what's it, moon, sunny, sunny Moon? What What's this guy's name? And that thing there with the whole um, glitching means that that really only happened when Vanny was around, right? Hang on. Yeah, I think, hang on, if we look, there's a hand here, an arm. So this is like from an upward scale, I think. These are the teeth, this is an eye. This looks like a bunny kind of costume, like a spring bunny costume. So Vanny could, or something to do with Vanny could be um, inside this. I never really understood why the screen kind of glitched out whenever Vanny was around, as if like Gregory was somehow connected to her or she had power over him in some kind of way. Like I said, the story gets confusing because there were certain ideas that were meant to be followed through with, I think, or maybe the wires were mixed. I don't know if it was partly to do with like COVID 
or whatever because i think it came out around the, the time of covid right i'm not sure 2019 2020 up Honestly, I can't even remember when Security Breach was released. At that time, loads of people were working from the office. You know, they couldn't really work together. Communication was probably all over the shop. But I'm hoping now, obviously, they're all together. You know, they all know exactly the vision that they're going with. And they can deliver a nice story with this. But I'm super confused. And I'm hoping you guys can actually uh, help me out with the story of what's happening here. Why is the Pizza Plex so, like, run down in such a short space of time? Gregory is still a kid from the sounds of things um unless that was pre-recorded and then this is this is like years later years after that whole thing happened i'm not sure what the canon ending is i'm not sure why the place is so derelict i'm not sure what who the hell cassie even is in relation to uh gregory but i'm sure we're gonna find out uh when was it july 2023 well, there we go, guys. I do apologize on my lack of knowledge of the security breach. I might have to just play it through again, in honesty. Obviously, it was unfortunate with the release because there was, you know, a lot of issues to begin with. And I guess it, like, threw a lot of people off. But it's probably all patched up now. And I could probably go in, try and figure it all out, try and make sense of what's happening here. But if you guys know, if you guys know something, let me know in the comment section down below. Thank you guys for watching. I do appreciate it. If you're hyped for Security Breach Ruin DLC, be sure to go and subscribe to Steel Wall. Obviously, they'll keep you up to date. Obviously, nearer the time, I think maybe there'll be a new trailer or something. We'll see. But yeah, thank you guys for watching. I hope you did enjoy. And I'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys.